Okay, what's going on traders? So today we're back with another beginner-friendly video. Okay, today's topic, we are back at the chart and uh, we'll be talking about um, how to draw trend lines. Okay, so um, in case you don't know what trend lines are, okay, they are actually lines which we draw to determine uh, um, turning points in the market. So um, this video will share with you a step-by-step -step, um, guide on how do you use trend line and uh, you know some um, like tricks or some tips on how to draw better trend lines. Okay, so first thing to note about trend line is that uh, okay uh, is that trend line should be drawn on the uh, swing high and swing lows. Okay, so um, for example, um, this is swing high, right? This is a swing low, and this is a swing high. Okay. So sometimes uh, in the market, uh, it's not too clear. Like for example, this, um, do you consider this as a swing high or not, right? So sometimes it's not so clear. Okay, so uh, you want to always be taking um, the, uh, the most obvious one because when a swing point, right, swing high or swing low is obvious, then uh, a lot of people will see the same thing, okay? So uh, in our case, um, let us just uh, do an example. Okay, so you notice here that there's a swing low here, there's a swing high here. So let me just uh, map it out for you. This is a swing low, this is a swing high, and this is a swing low. Okay, so uh, as we said, if we are trying to draw, uh, you know, to try and draw a trend line, um, what you can do is you click here, choose the trend line option. Okay, then you just take the uh, one low point, connect to the other swing low. Okay. Um, by default, I, I think that um, this, just a moment, let me check. Yes, so, um, yeah, I think by default, it will auto plot, uh, you know, the line will just extend. Um, yep. But I think, just a moment. Okay, so anyway, uh, yes, it will extend. So uh, you just want to connect the one low, low point one swing low to another swing low and just project it out, okay? So here's just some tips on how to draw, you know, the perfect trend line. Okay, how do you, you know, in this case, you see that it sits very nicely. Um, this connect to this, you know, um, this was support and then uh, it was uh, kind of supported here partially, okay? So how do, you know, how, how do you draw the perfect trend line? Okay, a, a rule that we like to use is that um, uh, your trend line should, as much as possible, tap as many candle bodies, as in tap as many candles uh, as possible, okay? Without cutting the bodies, okay? Let me just repeat, okay? Our, your trend line when you draw, should try not to cut the candle bodies and try to touch as many uh, candles as possible, okay? So if we draw it in this case, uh, so we have drawn it uh, something like this, okay? Okay, something like this, uh, or perhaps even like this. Okay, in this case, uh, you see that here, uh, this is what I mean by, you want to avoid this, but in this case, you don't really have a choice because this touches the most number of candles or you can just uh, do it like this or so, right? So of course, it, it, it's, it's a bit subjective, okay, but, um, you kind of get the idea, okay? Step one involves uh, connecting two swing lows, okay? This for, for ascending trend line, okay? Uh, touch as many candle, board, uh, candle wicks as possible without cutting, um, without cutting uh, the, without the candle body cutting the trend line, okay? So maybe I'll just show you one more example before uh, we wrap up this video. Uh, just now we saw ascending one now, um, let's see a descending one. So same thing, uh, if you want to draw a descending trend line, right, then you need two swing highs. So these two swing highs are very obvious, okay? Uh, if you can't really see it, uh, switch to the line chart, okay? It's very obvious that these two are peaks, okay? Then uh, take your trend line tool, connect this to this, okay? Then uh, just shift it in such a way that uh, it touches as much uh, candles as possible, right, without cutting the... Uh, without cutting the candle body, okay? So in this case, you see, uh, you know, you draw this trend line, you kind of realize that there's resistance over here, okay? Once it was broken, uh, you kind of see that this trend line kind of holds true, okay? So uh, yeah, just a disclaimer, um, trend line on its own is not enough to give it, to, it's not enough uh, 
as a training strategy, it's just one of the tools in Arsenal. Okay, uh, if you need a training strategy, watch our other videos. We teach uh, some strategies that you can use. Okay, so uh, we'll see you in uh, our other videos. If you're new to our channel, please do hit the subscribe button. Okay, uh, we create videos like this uh, almost every week for you guys. So we'll see you in the next video.